bound to Dillsborough. Copy that. Okay.
Uh, okay. You're live, Casey. Oh, I am. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're having a lot of technical difficulties here tonight. Uh, we're. I think we got everything figured out. I hope everyone can hear us. Yes. Uh, well, welcome to the Virtual Railroader Academy. Uh, I am Professor Casey. And I am Professor Nick. And tonight is Air Brakes and Train Handling 205. Um, sorry about that. Um, was having tons of issues with OBS and audio cards, uh, but we finally got it worked out. Uh, so we're here. We're finally live. We are... Nick, this looks like a very high-res version of uh, Open Rails, doesn't it? Uh, it does. Uh, it, it looks high res. Um, uh, it looks the, like there's actually people in here. Yeah, like the cabs are 3D. It's uh, it's amazing. Mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, but I, I think it's called Opener Rails. Opener Rails or Railroader? Railroader. Railroader sounds right. Something like that. Open Railroader. There we go. That's what it is. Oh, uh. So, sorry, I'm responding to a message really quick for some dispatching purposes. Um, so, tonight, uh, Squiggy, uh, Cole 4 is going first, uh, then the, uh, Amon transfer, uh, is also leaving at the same time. Um, and then the Bryson transfer needs to leave after Cole 4. Cool? Understood. Cool. Alright, so. Cole 4. Yep. Air brakes Cole and four. train handling. Uh, we've covered this before. Uh, it was, I believe it was 105, uh, if I'm remembering our history correct. Um, so kind of big points. Try not to let the crane accordion uh, keep the train stretched or bunched. Try not to let it um, seesaw or accordion, uh, as you will. Uh, try and keep one type of thing going on. And small movements and patience. That's all you need for good train handling. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. I mean, we can't just end the stream there. We just, we barely started. Um. <laughs> ah, I love it. Uh, so, if y'all are in the Discord, you'll know that uh, we've been doing Rule of the Day, and there's been a lot of rules related to air brakes coming up over the last couple of weeks. Those are rules 501, 506, 507, and 510. Now, we're going to start with the very first one of those, and I am pulling it up here for myself. Uh, five, rule 501 out of... No, oh wait, we never did locomotive brake test. Well, we should probably start with a locomotive brake test, shouldn't we, Nick? I think that's as good a place as any to start. I uh, first want to thank our audience for joining us here tonight. Uh, as always, we appreciate being able to share with you uh, that railroader knowledge which we have and look forward to being able to uh, have you join the conversation so at any point if you have questions feel free to contribute via the chat yes uh and for tonight uh we're switching it up nick is my student engineer he is going to be doing all of the running i am going to be there uh simply instructing and helping nick get over the road uh, as you would as a uh, newly minted student engineer training out on the road with a more qualified guy. So, for our locomotive brake test, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close the angle cock on our engine. And uh, you start with taking a set, Nick, a uh, full application, and we're going to do a leakage test. For one minute, you're going to sit and stare at the second hand on your watch, and you're going to see if the gauge moves. While you're doing that, I'm going to hop down on the ground, look at our brake cylinders for piston travel. Okay. And make sure our brake shoes are touching on all the wheels. Climb, climbing all along through the river here. And we don't need to do a full 60 seconds here, but I enough to get the point across. Alright, copy that. Application received. And now, presumably, there's a handbrake applied on the engine or the cars or something, or on the engine, so, or chocks, and after 60 seconds have passed and we've confirmed a visual application, you will release. 
I have released. I do not see a release. Uh, oh, I've released a uh, train break. Oh, yeah, no, uh, indep independent break. There we go. That's a release. And we can see our brake shoes have come off. And I'm just going to go around and check all of them. This is the very first thing you do once you get your air pump turned on. Your main res is pumped up. We'll talk about what a main res is in a little bit when we tie onto our train. That's a good release. So we are in yard limits. So I'm gonna go get your switch up here. And 1976, you can bring her back. I'm gonna be your brakeman and your uh, instructor today. Sounds like a good dual role. Yeah, I can I can juggle both. So our job on hand today, as we're rolling back to it, is we're going to be running. I never opened the angle cock on that engine. That's yeah, fine. We're a yard move. We don't need air. Um, which is true. Yard move. You don't need air. Um, Convenient. Right? Uh, funny how that worked out. Uh, our job tonight is we're going to be running the coal one and coal two, the coal tracks. Uh, so we're going to be heading up to D Hart Mine, getting uh, coal and water, uh, and we're going to be uh, or getting coal, uh, dropping off our loads, picking up our empties, dropping off our empties, picking up our loads. Wow, that the whole audio thing in the beginning really messed me up for tonight. Um. So we're going to be dropping off our empties, picking up loads, and uh, turning around and coming back. That is the goal tonight. That is uh, what we are working on. This and, is uh, the way. This is the way. I have not seen today's episode yet, so absolutely no spoilers. Same. Um, no, no spoilers, anyone. Have not seen it. Am, lo am very much looking forward to it. Uh, As do I ever Yeah, do. it's it's... A uh, little, little bit disappointment here that we're streaming tonight because I was like, oh man, I can't, I'm not going to have time to watch The Mandalorian before the stream. So it is something to look forward to for afterwards, at least. It's a Friday activity in our household. Oh, very cool. All right, so Nick I can't see, see anything on that side. I can see everything on this side. So I got you, I got a red, green target and a red up ahead. Okay. So uh, that red target's lined us past our hopper, so that's going to work for us. We're going to go in down that siding, we'll drop our caboose, run around, tack onto our cars. Actually, we'll run past our hoppers, tack the caboose on, run around, tie on, and we can do our first brake test. Well, I mean, we, we could tack it on, and we, we don't even necessarily have to uh, push it into place, because we can use that hill to gravity switch into place, correct? We can, we, yeah, we can uh, We can just cut away and let it drop. Sweet. Uh, and that's, you'll hear this a lot tonight, but use gravity to your favor. Use your physical characteristics to your favor to help you out along the way. It'll go, it'll, uh, it'll help out so much. Yep, that is exactly what John Mayer taught me. Well, actually, John Mayer complains that it's working against him. So we're going to learn how to not be like John Mayer. Oh, God. In the meantime, we have a lively conversation going on about CSX being able to uh, build or rebuild steam locomotives. Oh, interesting. And somebody spoiled the end to uh, Rose, uh, not Rose, but uh, Citizen Kane. Uh, that's far enough, 1976. Okay. Nope, that's not the key I wanted. <laughs> Alright. 
I've got the pin pulled on that and the angle cock closed. I think we may need to give it a little bit of a nudge. Sure. Alright, that's a good nudge. And... You can start creeping ahead slow. I'll get the switch as soon as the boost is clear. You know, or hack, depending on what part of the nation you are. I prefer hack. Cabin? Cabin. If you're, a, if you're a believer in the standard railroad of the world. Crummy, depending on where you are, as well. I don't think that's going to make it. I'm going to help that out a little bit there. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to. Here, while you're running around, I'm gonna scoot this thing over. Plus, it stopped. And I'm gonna roll and donk in nicely. Donk. Open up that angle cock. That angle cock. And I'm going to fast run down to the other end. Cross if you can. And you got an engine like to go, 1976. Tender. Half. Drop. Far enough. Climb up on here and uh, back them up. We're having a second pair of eyes is so handy because it's I'll really tell you what, I cannot, I can kind of see the hoppers, but being able to judge my distance to them is difficult with this massive tender in the way. Um, yeah, that's that's why you need a second person. You'd be surprised how little you can see, even on small steam engines. Uh, I'm over here. Got. Uh, half a car. Truck, 10 feet, 5, 4, 3, 2, got him. Beautiful. Alright, now, remember from the switching video, set your independent all the way. Leave your automatic alone. So I'm going to open up the single cock, slowly and listen for the air as it fills the train. So I don't want to dump the engine, but I do want to start charging everything up nice and slowly. And as I hear more air starting to flow, I can get closer to popping that wide open. Now we are in territory of rule 506, today's rule. Um, so if we open up our hymnals, again, this is in our Discord, if you're not in our Discord, exclamation mark Discord to find that stuff. And uh, this is in Railroad Rule of the Day. This is from Standard Code, air brakes and part, the air brakes and train handling part, Rule 506, Initial Terminal Brake Test. This is the brake test you do when you tie onto your train at your initial terminal before departure to make sure it is safe to leave. Again, we are going to start with a leakage test. So, on proper signal, a brake pipe leakage test shall be performed per Rule 504. After a leakage test is set, so we now need to flip to 504, which I haven't posted yet. So, Nick, for a leakage test, because I have that book uh, to my left, take uh, 70, uh, set your brake pipe, bring your brake pipe down to 75 pounds. Done. All right, now you're gonna watch for leakage to make sure nothing's bleeding off on the cars. And while you do that, I am gonna walk the train and listen for air leaking out and knocking off handbrakes. Which, I'm just gonna knock handbrakes. We're not gonna wait the full 60 seconds, because frankly, 60 seconds is a long time. Yeah, we could be gone in 60 seconds. 
Oh, God. Continuing our theme of movie and TV references tonight. That... We, we really are in a uh, cinematic mood. Yep. All right. So I got I all mean, my I... can breaks. And now, the part B of the rule. After leakage test is satisfactory completed, a full service application of the automatic brake valve, brake valve shall be made and inspection of the air brake system shall be made to ascertain angle cocks are properly positioned, brakes apply on each car, piston travel is not less than 7 or more than 9 inches unless equipment is stenciled otherwise. Brake rigging does not bind or foul, brake equipment is secure. So I am going to walk back on the other side of the train and look at brake shoes, piston travel as I go down. Good, 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 good. Good. I know I'm moving a little fast, but it's a video game and I can move fast and I can visually ascertain that the shoes are touching and the pistons out. It's quite a train we have today. What's our tonnage? Uh, it Uh, get the shortcut for that one. Uh, it should be in Oh, the wait, wait, wait. I hi highlight over the controls. Hold on. I have to move my cursor. It is uh, 851 tons. Okay. Yeah. Pretty decent train. 25 cars. All right. And now release. And we can see the brake cylinder release over there. My shoes fold away. So I'm just going to walk down the train again, looking at brake shoes. This is the boring part of air brakes is the inspections. And my least but they are important. Parts. They are incredibly important. And a lot, and this is like a very quick overview. A lot goes into them. You're looking at, look on the caboose because it's easier to see. So not only am I looking at the brake shoes, I'm looking at the rigging here, the rigging there, those rods. I'm looking at the rigging underneath. I'm making sure all of those move and function and aren't binding up. Uh, usually I'll check continuity through the rear. Hey, we hear air. All right. So that's a K brake setup, correct? K brake. Oh, like oh, um, sure. I don't know what air brake system it's using. There's different. There's K valves. There's P valves. There's uh, UC valves, there's D22s, so it, it's... I don't know what system that Adam has modeled in this game. Uh, Alright, so air's made up. Um, brakes have released, our initial terminal's good. We can leave our initial terminal. So let's call the dispatcher now and get permission out of the yard limits. Uh, we gotta head towards Bryson. So this is a uh, coal one costs now we are a train we've done we've made we've made up our train uh, and we're ready to leave the yard we've made up our cars we're ready to leave the yard so we become a train our markers are hung so coal one the dispatch this is dispatcher go ahead coal one coal one's looking for permission out of town uh, we're uh, leaving uh, Silva interchange now heading for. Uh, trying to get to Bryson. Uh, we're looking for a track and time out of town. All right. Uh, give me a moment. All right. Uh, what is your engine number, your car count, and your tonnage? We are engine 1976, we're 25 cars, 851 ton. 
25 cars, 851 tons. All right. Um All right, dispatch to Cole 1. You are cleared ahead westbound at a Silva interchange. All right, uh where are we clear to? Uh at least to Silva. Be advised you will be trailing behind me running between uh Silva and Dillsboro. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat? Uh be advised that you will be following a move uh, running between Silva and Dillsboro. All right, we're following a move Silva to Dillsboro. We will yep. call you uh, when we reach Silva mm -hmm. uh, for further permission. All right, so Nick, as a challenge for you tonight, I would like you to try and use the in-cab controls as much as possible. Okay. Um, and... But you get more of a feel. I know you and I both play with the UI a lot. Uh, we both use, we have controllers set up to use. But you get a very different feel for what it's doing. Uh, now, you'll notice my UI in the bottom corner. We're going to be watching what Nick does. You can see that the throttle's closed, and he took a little pinch with the brakes and released. So now, Nick, we can only go as far as Silva. We're all downhill. Why don't you take a little three, four pound set? And let it cook. Good. And re bail off your independent. Does it, does it not want to go? The, the independent bail off? No. Alright, I'll grab it with the UI since I have it open. Alright. And we're just going to let that cook and slow down. Uh, I got a red signal on my side up ahead. So oh, I'm going to run ahead. I imagine that's a switch lined against us. If I can get out of the cab, weird hitbox there. I'm putting on slightly more air. That's good. In case there's that's another good. reason that switch is set for stop. All right. And I'm going to release, kick that air off uh, before we come to a complete stop. Uh, no, I think we're going to. Eh, here's a good spot. You're stopped before where you need to. So you're fine. Your whole train's in the clear. Back there. You know, coming up a little bit short, I don't think that's not a huge issue for me. Uh, now you, uh, Cole won the dispatch. Cole won calling the dispatcher. This dispatch of the coal one, uh, please hold at your signal. It looks like there's a situation with 102 that needs to be sorted. Copy that coal one holding at Parsons waiting on 102. So Nick, now that we're stopped, we have a long train, right? We do. Uh, would you mind moving out of the way? I want to talk about the air brake gauges while we have some time. So right now we have the brakes. We have the brakes on the train set, um, and you'll notice that. Our main res right here should be at 140 and it's at 130. That's what's going to allow us to recharge the train. We have a long train, but we only have a small set. As your trains get longer, it takes longer to recharge. So every time you stop, as you can, apply your independent, release your train brake. And you'll see that our main res drops as it recharges the brake, as it recharges the brake line and then pumps back up. So that's just, it's good air management to be able to do that. Uh, and while we're here and have time, let's talk about positions of the brake handle. So this is a number six ET brake. Uh, in game, it functions something like a 26 brake. Um, so you don't have the lapping feature, it is self-lapping. So all the way over is release. Release connects your main reservoir to your brake pipe, which means you can charge your brake pipe higher than 90 PSI. This The game doesn't do that here, so you don't need to worry about it, but we're talking real world, real world circumstances here. If I move it over to that notch there, right now we are in running. This is the normal position you put the, a six brake handle in. 
it charges your brake pipe to 90 psi and uh, every time you move it to there. So this is where it always lives. This next notch over is your is called holding. So when you're in holding, if you have your independent off, but you use your automatic, it will hold your independent set but release your train brakes. Uh, between there, uh, if we come over to there, that is lap. And that means all ports closed, you're not going to pass any air in or out of the brake pipe. Between there and there is your service position. So that's where you go to move it to take air and then move back to lap. You'll usually hear pshhh or pssst. That's what the lap position does. And then all the way over is your fun one. It's your big hole or emergency. So now that I've pissed away all our air because it's a 26, I'm going to release and let that recharge. Uh, and uh, it would appear, according to the chat up above, uh, the passenger train in front of us is having technical difficulties. Do you guys require a hand? Hello? Hang on, I'm gonna... Oh, they're all in a different voice chat. I'm gonna... I will keep agitated while you check what's Yeah, I'm going. gonna go check what's going on. So... Yeah. I'm hey guys, I'm in here now. Bryson yeah. Oh wait, no, yeah. hey guys. What's going on? Does Josh need help? We don't know. Okay, cool, I'm gonna yeah, go back there. we can't there. talk to him. Alright, switch him He's back. He's not in here. Alright, going back. Of uh, my digital. I'm back. Car. Uh, Josh, do you need help? Uh, you're you're back in the chat with me, or did you? Yeah, I know. Jo Josh is in this chat. Okay. Finally uh, got it to work. You finally got it to work. Yep. All right, cool. All fun on the railroad. Uh, so one of the things we have to talk about is. We're following a train today. We've got a train. We've got a passenger train in front of us, uh, and I know that because I have a timetable. And if you uh, go to our link tree, exclamation mark tree, and go to the employee timetable, you will be able to see uh, the timetable. And we are following train. Uh, it's Wednesday. We're following train 102 out of Silva, so we're running behind them the whole night. Uh, so, oh, Nick, we got a yellow signal here. Alrighty. And, uh, Cole 1 to dispatch. Dispatch, go ahead, Cole 1. Are we free, uh, we got a yellow signal here at Parsons. We're ready to depart, uh, with your permission. Very good, Cole 1. You are clear to depart, uh, for for Dillsboro. Copy that. Uh, what's happening at Dillsboro? Uh, it looks like there's some switching occurring at Dillsboro. Uh, are we taking the main at Dillsboro, the siding at Dillsboro? Uh, hold for a moment. Looks like you will be taking the main. Let me confirm with the uh, Dillsboro yard crew. Alright, you want to start creeping out, Nick? Uh, I can, uh, but to quote Dr. Sheldon and Cooper, you're in my spot. Oh, you need that seat. At least if I'm going to be operating the yeah, old-fashioned way by yeah, actually... Yeah, yeah, you, you get the good seat. I will stand. Uh, so, physical characteristics, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, what you want to do... Here, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll stand in, like, the, uh, instructor engineer spot. I'll just hover behind your shoulder. Uh... Dispatch to... Uh, Cole 1, you are clear to depart uh, westbound. Copy that. Clear to depart westbound for Dillsboro. Uh, you have any further information on main siding? Uh, yard crew at Dillsboro are clearing the main as we speak. Alright, copy that. So we're going into the main at Dillsboro. Here we go. 
And that signal tripped green right as we hit it. So that means the train that means the train we're following is uh, two blocks in front of us now instead of just one block in front of us. So, Nick, very good start out of there, nice and smooth. We didn't hear any car rustling noises. Uh, we know that we have a... Um, we're on a downgrade here. So once we come around this curve, and you can... Can you kind of see it? I think you can kind of see it. Let me scoot out. Uh, don't fall out. So come around this curve, we should see the we should see the grade drop off just ever so slightly. Ow! I'm getting crushed and ping ponged around. So yeah, you can you can see where it starts to drop off just after this uh, creek crossing. Sit in the seat. There we go. So with physical characteristics, what we're going to want to do now, we're going to set ourselves up for drifting. So leave the throttle out a little bit and put your reverser all the way far forward. And what you what you're setting up for now is what's called a drifting throttle. And on uh, steam engines, uh, if you you'll look up front and they'll have this. Uh, usually right there where my mouse is, you'll have something called a snifter. It prevents a vacuum from forming. You'll see little bits of steam coming out of there when it goes... That's how you know you're drifting. Uh, Nick, we may want to take a little bite of air, so take a four pound set just to keep the speed down. And our goal here is to maintain the speed that we're doing. And then bail off your independent. Because the last thing you want to do is get flat spots on your drivers. Yep. So you can see Nick took us uh, a three pound set and we are perfectly maintaining 30 miles an hour. Now and... if we were doing that uh, in Japan, if we were doing this technique in Japan, it would be known as a Tokyo Drift. Yeah. I thought that's when you, uh, Send uh, one car one way out down a track, and the other, and like the front of the car down the left track, and the back of the car down the right track. I thought that was a Tokyo drift. Uh, that yeah. Well, I if you're in the U.S. and you do that maneuver, then that's a Tokyo drift. Yeah. But we'd have to be in drifting this style in Japan for it to be a Tokyo. Drift. <laughs> if you can keep track of that logic, good on you. Hey. Uh, we passed we are the, really maintaining. We're really maintaining. See how patience with it. We were coming up past the um, we like we were coming past the yellow signal. We got a little upset on it, and we're maintaining 30. Uh, coming up around this left-hand curve, we're gonna go over a creek into a tangent into a right-hand curve. This is what it takes to be an engineer: is memorizing your railroad this detailed. Oh wait, we don't cross. Yeah, we go through a cut across the creek. That's what we do. Tangent into a right-hand curve. Once we hit that tangent, we're going to have a signal. So Nick, why don't you take it down to 84 PSI? Um, why 84? I don't know. It feels like a good number. It's all about feel. Yep, that's where I get my number. Dispatcher to 102 and Cole 1. You are both clear through the main at Dillsboro. All westbound. right. Cole 1 through Dillsboro westbound. Where am I clear to? Uh following uh following behind 102 you're clear all the way to Whittier uh you will meet uh you'll meet uh coal four which will be in the hole and you'll take the main uh can we meet them at um we passed the yellow uh, you know what? actually Nick you're doing a really good job Keep it set up just like this. Uh, yeah. Can we meet him at Bump Gardener, Squiggy? Uh, west of Wilmot. Yeah, west of Wilmot at Bump Gardener. Um, can we meet him there and we'll take the hold? I'll take the main. I want to talk about something and that'll give me a chance to. Understood. Thank you. Uh, well, let me get this sorted real quick. Yep. All right, so it's another yellow signal. So uh, we're doing a good pace here, Nick. Uh, we're going to come down grade, and you can see it a little bit as we come through this tangent into the right hand. 
we're going to come down grade, and as we come through the yard, we're going to pick going back uphill just ever so slightly. So, what I'm going to say to do is leave your throttle where it is, bring your reverser back two clicks. Uh, your reverser, not your window. <laughs> you would think that I would know the difference between the two, and yet. All right, so see how leaving that reverser, see how leaving that alone and just hooking up a little bit gives you that. You're out of the corner. You're no longer trying to drag it. You're just trying to. Let's start taking some speed a little bit. Um, do you still hear where they're at? Uh, hey, stop, oh. stop, 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 oh. stop. All stop. All stop. Big holes. Big hole. Well, so if you guys have ever wanted to know what it's like to be in the cab of a steam engine during an emergency stop, it is exactly like that. In real life, in virtual, uh, Nick, let's recharge our brake system. That's good. Um, it is exactly like that. I have, I mean, I'm not screaming because I'm in my home. But it's exactly like that. You just hear someone go, stop, 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 stop. And then you hear, Psh! Um, that's how that goes. Everyone okay? Everyone's pants good? Um, once we have our air back, Nick, we can take her ahead. Well, that was fun. What was I talking so, about? <laughs> well, I was about to ask you a question based on uh, Fusilier Werther's question, which is, so do you open the throttle a bit going downhill to keep the cylinders from overheating? Uh, not over... Mm. You're lubricating them. Uh, so, so in a keep... way, yes, but not... In exactly. a way, yes, but not exactly. Um, your goal is to keep them lubricated. Um... And steam oil needs steam in order to lubricate. Um, so you need steam to be able to do that. Um, but also, have, but also running with the throttle cracked open provides you a little bit of a cushion um, as your cylinder, as your piston's going back and forth. So that little bit of cushion uh, helps with the hammer blow, helps prevent the hammer blow. Does that make sense? So you have that steam to kind of cushion that blow on either end. That um, Alright, uh, where's your reverser at? Uh, it is hooked at 70. Alright, uh, let's bring it up to 60% and bring your throttle out a little bit more. Uh, our track here, if we look at our timetable, we are uh, between... Uh, we're coming. We're this is 30 miles an hour track, and we're uh, once we uh, hit this signal here, we're good for 35. So our goal is to be able to do 35. So I'm going to back off the throttle just a bit so that ideally I don't have to apply any brakes until so any brakes to maintain 30. So I could just keep accelerating, and by the time we hit 30, we'll have cleared this. Back end will have cleared the signal. That is uh, what we are doing now. Yes, but don't forget, we're also still on a very slight upgrade here. Once we come up to the bridge, that's where we start hitting the drop off. So you want to keep a little bit of power into that um, as you start cresting. So that way you're pulling into the downhill. So that way when you do apply your brakes, you're keeping your train stretched instead of letting part of it bunch up. So right. we're doing good. This is we're, we're set up very nicely. We're accelerating. Nice and gentle, up to that 35. We're, we're not a fast freight. We're really coal drag. We're going to be poking along, um, doing our speed. Uh, dispatch to 102, uh, pick me another VC, please. Yeah, Josh, I should have given you permissions. You may be able to see it now. So now we've hit the top of the grade. So push your reverser forward two clicks. 
and we're going to start easing off. And shut your throttle a little. Good. Uh, yeah, good like that. And push the reverser forward a couple more all the way. Good. And now you see how we've crested. Our train is still stretched. And we're coming down the hill. So uh, we're not going to take a bite yet because we're doing good speed. And because of the way we transitioned off coming up over the hill, we're going downhill, but our train is still stretched, which means we're not bumping up, which bunching up, which means you get a smoother transition coming out of that once we hit the flat. Uh, why don't you take a uh, five pound set? And release your independent. If you can't do it, I'll hit it with the UI since I have it up. Got it. All right, cool. And we'll see how that t treats us. We're just trying to keep 35. And looking at the UI, it looks like that's doing us pretty well. I'm gonna hop over to here. Whoa. Ow. And it's oh. so close that I'd probably just add a touch of throttle if I lose too much speed. Uh, that depends. You don't always want to work down the hill, though you can. Um, so we're losing a little bit of speed now. What I'd say is release, let your brake pipe recharge, um, and then come back on with a four pound set. And then... Independent. There we go. I just realized I don't have any music playing tonight. Oh well. Sorry y'all. So, we're speeding up a little bit, but we are... I'm not used to seeing it from the side. I'm gonna steal your seat for a second. We're getting okay. near the bottom of the hill. So I'm not too worried about the speed that we're losing. Plus, right as we come around to the bottom here at Barker's Creek, Oh, we, and we got a yellow. So, yeah, we're just going to let this ride. Means our next signals are red, so we're going to have to stop at the other end of the siding. Now, this stop here, depending on what happens, is where I would think about adding some power, just to drag out the brakes a little bit. So that way we don't need a release and take a recharge. This is where I would consider doing it. Uh, am I gonna have a better view of that signal from this side? Now, I know air brakes are this deep, dark, this mysterious black hole. That, uh, it's it's scary, it's unknown, but they're not all that bad. All right, and I got a view of that red. So we're just gonna take it nice and easy up to there. And that good, smart move with that good little bite remember patience. That first bite, that first set, will hold you really well. That second set will grab you so much faster than you expect. Um, exactly like that. So did you feel, Nick, how yep. that second set really clamped you down and dragged you even though you were making, you had some pretty good momentum before it? Yep. Um, it's something I struggled with when I was first learning how to run was that was, uh, uh, we call it panic breaking. You go, oh crap, oh crap, like, uh, I'm like four cars out, five cars out. And you're like, oh, I'm going to take that second set. And then it's like dropping a boat anchor on the rear of the train. You're just, ugh, okay, stopped. Yes. Because the thing that you're always thinking when you're new to it is I would rather stop too quickly then not quickly enough which is always true yeah i mean it's true learning how to drive a car um i mean that was always my thing of like stepping gently on the brakes and then like accidentally slamming them coming up to a red light so uh 
I just I'd open up your throttle and power through this. Or now we're gonna stall. Nah, you, you don't got it. Maybe you do got it. I lied. I do got it. Uh, don't forget to release your independent. There you go. You can tell I was trained on trolleys. I can. I, 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 you're doing the trolley stuff now. Well, right. trolleys, you don't have any dependent. Right, I guess it's just the one. Break. Yeah. Now, um, if you're running a full in urban set, that'd be different, but just a trolley is just a car. That's true. Um, <laughs> trolleys are cool. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, Coal one to dispatch. Uh, he might be in the other chat. He so. might be in the other chat. I'll text him. This is Dispatcher. Go ahead, Cole One. Hey, Cole One. Uh, we are stopped here at Barker's Creek uh, at a red signal, uh, wondering what's going on. Uh, yeah, we have a full situ situation sorting. Uh, please hold for. Please hold and uh, proceed at at the indicate signal once it changes. All right, copy that. Holding and proceeding on signal indication. Understood. I will get back to remedy the situation. Copy that. Part of me really wants to know what's going on in another voice chat, and another part of me really doesn't. Because I think I may be terrified. Yeah. Um, uh, I know that feeling. So, how's everyone liking air brakes? Is it that scary as uh, it, it, it always seems? Or is it a... Uh, I think it's rather simple. Um, one of the things I notice is people panic a lot early on. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a yellow. I'll get out of your seat, Nick, and we can uh, start creeping out of here. Now, according to our timetable... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we have a yellow restricted speed proceeding no faster than uh, 10 miles under the posted speed limit. Posted speed limit here is... And again, referring to our timetable, which you can find in our link tree. Posted speed limit here. Uh, Nick, we're going to be highballing at 45. So we can do 35 right now. Okay. That was a pretty good start. We'll go over some stuff on the next one. Castle, once you understand basically how it works, it's really not that complicated. Uh, yeah. Um, Train Z Builder 2000, both easy and complicated. I mean, it was hard for me when I did Railroad Week at Nevada Northern. Oh, that's cool. They, you guys get to run with a train over there when you do your thing, right? It's not just light it's engine? It's an option. It, you really? can do either. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I would always take the train as the option. That's more fun. Uh, Midway... Yeah, more trains, please. Midway between terrifying and simple. That is a very good description of it. <laughs> uh, where do you have your uh, reverser set at? 40. Alright, that's good. Just ease back your throttle a little bit. That's good. Probably more than enough. Uh, push your reverser forward a couple notches. Like 60%. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now you're, we're hooked up and um, what you want to do is you want to get the engine hooked up nicely. So that way it just kind of goes without needing to do a lot of stuff. Um, and that's uh, a balancing act of where you put the reverser, where you put the throttle to get it to do what you want. I have one engine. Um, it actually has uh, cutoff percentages on the reverser, 
and it loves being at 40%, 45%, uh, and this is an 85% cutoff. So the maximum far forward, far forward or reverse you can go is 85%. So it likes being almost less than halfway, almost less than half cutoff. Um, so it's really happy in that territory. And we got another yellow, so we're just gonna keep rolling at this speed, prepared to stop at the next signal. Which is going to be Baumgartner. Which is gonna be Baumgartner, and that's the where I asked Squeaky to put me into the hole. So we'll talk about how to approach that. So no panicking, Nick. Trust me that I'm gonna bring you into a nice easy 20 through that switch, okay? Uh, I trust you. Good. So we're just gonna keep rolling just like this. Yeah, could we bring out the throttle a little bit more? Yeah. I got a yellow signal. It means I may have a red at the next one. I don't know what's gonna happen. It could be another yellow. So I don't wanna start accelerating faster. So we're hooked up nicely. Uh, depending on what kind of a train you're pulling, when you're hooked up, you may ma be making no noise at all. Uh, and I have a question for Rudy and Squiggy when they have a chance. They could pop into this voice chat. Um, Rudy and Squiggy, please report to the principal's office. <laughs> Rudy and Squiggy to the principal's office. All right, and coming through the town of Wilmot. So in about a mile, we're going to be hitting that next town. We're going to be hitting that next signal. So we're just going to be keeping an eye out, rolling along at a very nice pace. I think that's going to be on your side. Dispatcher to Cole 1. Yeah, uh, has the almond transfer arrived yet? Because I know that there's uh, cars on there for uh, that we need to pick up. Yeah, you'll be taking the hole at uh, Bumgarner. All right, that, you... that was not the question. Has the almond transfer arrived in Bryson yet? Yes. Oh, switch. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, wait. No, we're going straight? You said we're taking the hole in Bumgarner, Squiggy? That was what you were. Uh, uh, we are in Bumgarner, and there's no train here. All right. And we'll we're also on the main. main. Well, you'll hold on the main. All right, copy that. Holding on the main. The uh, almond transfer is pulling into Bryson Yard right now. Sweet, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that works out for us. Uh, has the. I had to do some executive moves without your direction. Yeah, I, thank you. I was, I was train mastering, and you handled that very nicely. Uh,. Shut off your throttle. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna come over here and foam with y'all for a second as the other cold drag comes in. My character's doing something weird. I'm gonna run up and get that switch as they come through. Uh, Squiggy, do you think we can arrange? Has the Bryson transfer left yet? Yeah, go ahead. Has the Bryson transfer left yet? Uh. Departing Silva or Bryson? Departing Bryson for for Sil for Dillsboro. Uh, uh, yes. Wait a minute. Um, and we got a clear signal next, so we can proceed. So before you pull, release your brakes, and I want you to pump the throttle. Little shot of steam, close it. Little shot of steam, close it. And I'm aimed perfectly where we can see. Good, 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 good. We have that stretched out nicely. And next pump, leave the throttle out. Bring it out nice. Good, keep bringing it out. Keep bringing it out. Let's get rolling.
good. And we're good for 45, so I say, based on how it was acting before, we want to get a reverse through to about 50% as where we're going to be hooked up to, and the throttle wherever she's happy. But that was a very nice start. Did you feel how smooth that was? Yeah, that was, that was definitely a different experience from the last one. Yeah, um, and we had a great shot here of like the train just like inching forward at each pump until you got that first chuff. Um, the pro move to do that is as soon as you get chuff, chuff on that second chuff, then you basically put the throttle at the ceiling and just let it accelerate uh, and hook and get your reverser hooked up to where you want it and then start bringing your throttle in to set it to where it's happy. That is the pro move to getting uh, set up perfectly. So now we're still hovering at 38, so just rip that throttle all the way out. Does that put you in a position though where if you're if you're trying to hook it up too soon though that you might get wheel slip? Uh, not wheel slip, but you'll start hearing the rods uh, pound, which is when it's hooked up too high too soon. So um, there's pounding and then there's slapping. Uh, what's the difference between them? I can't describe the sound, but I can hear the difference between the sound. Um, and I know that's not a fun answer for stream um, and for you guys, but it's it's an answer. You, you hear the difference. Pounding is, it sounds like it's pounding and slapping is, it sounds like it's slapping. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I can envision it enough. Yeah, uh, and I hope you guys watching in uh, think that, that makes sense as well. Uh, Squiggy, if we can get the Bryson transfer out, uh, you think it's possible to do a meet at uh, Governor's Island where we take the hole and that comes in on the main? Or that's waiting on the main and we take the hole? Dispatch to call one. Could you please repeat that? I missed the first part. Sorry. Uh, you think it's possible to get the Bryson transfer out so that way it holds the main at Governor's Island and we take the hole at Governor's Island? Uh, yeah, I was also about to have you take the hole at Whittier to allow... Um, extra 6048 to pass what's extra 6048 uh, let's see. is the silver transfer my bad from Bryson to Dillsboro yes all right so the Bryson transfer cool yeah that works that's what I was talking about Bryson Oh yes, the Bryson transfer. Yes, they okay, are. Okay, cool. That they works. Are Governor's Island, so you'll you'll take the hole at Whittier, and they'll take the main. Copy that. We're taking the hole at Whittier. Understood. All right, so we're taking the hole at Whittier. Uh, where are we? All right, so we're coming up to the sawmill as per our um, uh, bulletin order. We have a 35 mile an hour restriction coming into Whittier, so Nick. Close the throttle a little bit and take a nice six pound set. Good, release your independent and put and start pushing your reverser forward a little bit. Let's get it to like 80%. Close your throttle more. Keep closing your throttle, keep closing your throttle, keep closing your throttle. Good, stop. And release. Good. Close your throttle all the way. Get your reverser all the way forward. And take another little uh, six pound set. Good. Release independent. I gotta run ahead here. Run, 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 run. And teleport back. Good. And take a little bit of throttle. Keep going. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle. Good. Stop. And release.
All right, close our crows near throttle and take a little four pan set. Good. Release your independent. Eventually, I will get that. Eventually, we'll get it. Nature of that. And more throttle. It's it's a hard habit to pick up. Uh, get it a lot with early students. Hey, the Pancake Palace. Something, something, something. Plug the Pancake Palace. And I see how we have a nice Good little package. set. We're walking her into the signal. And it's doing perfectly. Now, I think I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see that signal before you. you so will. when I. Yeah, yeah. So when I give you the cue, just close your throttle. And in. I don't know. Two, three car lengths. This will bring us down to a nice gentle stop. We maybe we may want to take another little two pound set where it just goes pshht, before you hear the equal re equalizing reservoir trigger. Um, though it doesn't do that in game, it does that in real life. Alright, I see the signal. Not yet. Keep walking her in, keep walking her in. Four cars to the signal. Three. Two, shut the throttle. And take a little nibble. Little nibble. And release. Or uh, release your independent. Alright, apply your independent, release your automatic, and then go up to the front. And let's take a look at where you stopped. Yep. And tell me that's not a perfect mark. Yeah. I, yep, I, that is a good position. How did that feel, walking that in like that? I, I feel like I am entirely in your hands at this point. <laughs> it would not be that smooth. Uh, I mean, and this is the challenge of it, is that I think I could have placed it there of my usual operating skill set for a train simulator, but not with actual physics and feeling that IRL. Yeah, and that's, I mean, and that's the problem with the games is you don't feel it like you do in real life. Um, and I'll, I'll say that with trolley, well, so what I can speak to with trolley experience is that, I, I mean, a trolley is much this is simpler than a full-blown train, but you do still at least feel something when you're accelerating, when you're oh, hitting yeah. a hill and the car is slowing down. These are things that you just innately feel, even where you don't have all that additional force that you have with additional cars. Exactly. Um, and it's, I mean, it's, it's just real life. Like, you, you feel it. It's like doing a, um, like a driving sim, like a, the F1 simulator. You can drive the car, and some people have setup where they feel everything like they're driving a car. Um, but your average Joe is going to have a steering wheel and a computer, and you can drive the car, but you're not going to feel the car. Oh, uh, by the way, Cole on the dispatch, we are stopped at Whittier, which is lined. At the hole, which is lined for the arrival of, uh, our meet. Um, but like, in, in a train sim, you don't, even with well-modeled, um, train handling, you don't really feel it the way that you do... Um, in the real world and what we're doing here right now Nick is like this is what it's like like your first like two months as a student is you had some pretty good stops you were kind of figuring out what I was telling you and trying to show you how to do but you were um, I don't know would, the phrase I used when I was starting out was I was miming being an engineer um, like, I, I could kind of figure out what I was doing, but I didn't understand what I was doing. Uh, and I don't know if that's a good description of how you're feeling right now. So much of it comes through repetition. So, I, when I was first running a car around the loops, 
then it is really much I am kind of on like waiting for what my in instructor is going to tell me and I'm just doing that and then as I'm observing what I'm doing so I, I'm kind of building in these ideas of, of where to apply power, where I need to do safety stops. Then I'm able to kind of absorb, okay, this is what it feels like when I'm doing it. So that it just becomes more automatic to do it. So then by the eighth time I've gone around the loops, mm -hmm. it's becoming more ingrained as just, oh, I just know to do this. Yeah, that's, it's it's just repetition it's doing it over and over and over and over and over again and seeing it in snow and rain and heat and cold and cloudy and, and sunny and different cars. i know what to expect from the engine yeah uh, because that definitely makes a key difference because you, you you could be super used to one piece of equipment one trolley car one locomotive you may know your line really well and then some other uh you're using a different car and it behaves differently using a different locomotive it behaves differently maybe it has more rolling resistance maybe it has less mm -hmm. um and that could that throws you back on your toes of figuring out what the thing feels like dispatch uh, to coal one this is coal one uh yeah, uh, once uh, Bryson transfer uh, clears, you'll be clear all the way to Bryson. All right, clear all the way to Bryson after the arrival of the Bryson transfer. Very good. And that sounds like the Bryson transfer coming in now. I never get tired of seeing these meets. Oh, it is such a good feeling. I, I've, I've got a little bit of a dumb smile on my face right now. I was up, I'd walked a little bit further away and just uh, waiting for it to come and then it shows up going around the curve. That feels right. Oh, they're falling passenger cars today. Cool. Nice. Neat. All right, uh, you want to get the switch as you're running up? I'll climb back into the cab. Uh. I actually uh, teleported. You teleported? Alright, yeah, you yeah. know what? I'll be a good brakeman. And I will go up and get the switch. And uh, 197, or cool one, you're clear. Oh, turn, I'll turn back on your headlight since I turned it off. And uh, I'm going to watch you depart from here. And hopefully you can get a nice smooth start like you did before. Uh, looking for the Bryson Yardmaster. Alright, and just keep it at a nice 25 till I get the switch, okay, Nick? Mm-hmm, you got it. We do not want to derail or anything like that. No, indeed. Derailments are not popular on streams. No. Ever. Oh. <laughs> uh. My reverse is acting up a bit. Yeah, you could use the UI control. Yeah, I'm not gonna. So I've been uh, working on a project. I've been... Uh, working the with Vente. the maker space uh, near me and I can just teleport back to the cab and uh, I've been designing a uh, six brake handle and an old switch controller I'm back on we can get her going up to 35 now wow that right here so I'm making a six brake handle with a uh, switch control with an old 
Switch controller, so that way I can use the uh, uh, triggers and the bumpers to apply and release brakes in the game. Because of the way of, the way we have it set up is, even though the game isn't a six brake, it's uh, like a twenty six, it will still function like a six brake. So I'm very excited for that to come in. I, I'm a little bit giddy. We we're doing some more design work with it today. That sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It does. Uh, next signal we come up to, we're going to signal right-hand curve tangent. We've got a 25 mile an hour speed restriction um, on the left-hand curve on the other side of that tangent. So I will let you uh, try your best using what we've been talking about to bring it down to 25 for that. Okay. And just uh, talk us through what you're thinking as we're doing that. Okay, so I've got the throttle drifting, need a little bit more of a bite, so I'm gonna go for a, I guess I'm doing a six pound reduction there, yep. bailing off the independent, uh, and that's slowing me down at a speed that I am comfortable with. And, oh, it's a 30 mile an hour restriction. So kick it off. We're good. Yep. And I might hook it back one more. No, we're if gaining. You hook, so if you I'm hook it back, we're going to gain. Where's your... Yeah, uh, we're already gaining. Where's your... Oh, we are slightly downhill here. So kick... Is that reverser all the way forward? No. Kick it all the way I forward. It. Oh, and you gave it a little bite. Yeah, just a little bite. Alright, uh... I'd release. Yeah. There we are. And now I'll bring the throttle out 20 and see what it does. And we've got a slight... It's actually quite a large downhill here coming into Ella. Right, so I'm going to leave it where it's at. Which yeah. Is some, then it's going to that downhill will give me an added speed boost and take me back up to 30. Exactly. Because otherwise I have to do a couple of adjustments. Exactly. Use your physical characteristics to help you. We know we're going to have a little bit of a downhill here and we're going to level off. So we're going to let that downhill take care of uh, keeping our speed. It looks like it's keeping our speed, not accelerating us. But we're, we're going to let it cook, see what it does as we come into Ella. After we get past the station, or approach the station, that's when we're going to think, all right, you know what, maybe we're going to click that reverser back a couple of notches. Power, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, why don't we give it a couple notches on the reverser? Where is it at now? 70. That's good. This engine seems to be really sweet spot, 60-70%. Uh, I've been noticing lately. And that's picking us up speed very nicely. Look back along our train, make sure it's all still there and doing what it's supposed to do. to 60 percent let's try and get up to 30 miles an hour because we know we got that other restriction coming up is we're getting off the fast flat part of the railroad and we're starting to get into the foothills here of the uh appalachia uh icer yes looking back and not seeing the rest of your train would not be a very good day though hopefully we would be in emergency yes You'd probably know it. Hopefully. Like the time that uh, the daylight disconnected from its from its tender. From its tender. Oh god, I always I forget about that story. Falls under the category of wait, that really happened? Yes, it did. In Texas, I want to say it was. Yeah, I think I heard that. That was when they were going on uh, the World's Fair trip, right? Yeah, that was not the American Freedom Train. Right. 
Alright, so we just cleared the other speed restriction, so we're out of the 30, we're back in the 35. So, uh, where's your reverser, Nick? Uh, right now it's at 60. Alright, ah, oh, god, something is on my mouse. I'm sorry for the seasick whip hands, everyone. It's, it's giving me seasickness. Um, let's leave this set up where it is. We're gaining speed. We're coming into Gov Isle. Gov Island has a, um, it drops off the face of the earth for, well, frankly, lack of a better way of phrasing it. And you can see there's an ever so slight upgrade through that curve there. And as we come through that curve, it'll just drop off the face of the earth. So we're going to leave this where it is. Uh, and, uh, remember how we came down the hill out of Dillsboro, Nick? We're going to try doing that exactly the same way. Okay. So, once the engine and a couple of cars are over the grade a little bit, we're going to, uh, click the reverser forward and, eh, throttle open. How much? I don't know. There's no snifters in the game. Cylinder cocks, uh, aren't here. So, I'm going to say at 9-10% throttle to simulate a uh, uh, drifting throttle. So that's where I want. That's where I'd like you to get set up. And I'm gonna zoom okay. in so our folks at home can see this. But you can see right there where the grade just drops off like a ro drops off like a roller coaster. And you could probably see it better on your side. There it is. because even though I'm applying no power uh, I'm holding 31 so it's gonna be coming back yep now it's coming back don't touch anything yet no nope. we're gonna be patient we're gonna be patient curve resistance helps you out ever so slightly a teeny teeny tiny little bit all right now six pounds that or four pounds that sorry good and at least you're independent I was reaching for it when you said that I'm talking to our folks at home as well. <laughs> um, well you also happen to be talking to me. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I was talking out loud. Uh, I, I knew you had it that time. I appreciate so, the faith. I, I have faith. I have faith. Uh, call one calling Bryson, dis, uh, Bryson Yardmaster. Rudy. Caging Rudy. 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 Oh. Hi. Uh, Hi. Sorry. <laughs> is our uh, is our swap of power and cars you're about ready to pick up in Bryson? Uh, somebody's backing the power out. I'm not sure who's doing that, but uh. Oh sweet. Cars. They're they're put the power. They're putting the new power on the cars for you and. Uh, so you're lined into the siding in Bryson. All right, copy that. We're lined into the siding in Bryson. Yep. And so uh, I'm coming up to that switch there. Cool. And uh, while we're off with the other uh, locomotives, would someone mind uh, turning our power and prepping it for us? Our uh, our B gamma. Uh, I can do that. Awesome. I see you took a little bit of a panic nibble there, Nick. I I probably gave it more than I needed to. I mean, I needed to take something, but I gave it too much. Uh, how much? That. How much has that creeped up to? I was not looking at the speed. Oh, it, it went up to thirty-five. So I needed oh, to that's... take something, but I just gave it too much. Uh, I, you know, dealer's choice. But I'd argue you almost didn't. Speed limit's thirty-five, so you didn't need to take something. At thirty-five. Uh, at thirty-five, you're. You have crept up to 35, you have not gone faster than it yet, and uh, we're now down onto the flats, right along the river. So, you've come off the hill and you've leveled off, so now you're taking power to make up that speed you just ate away, right? Yep. Patience is a virtue, and that's one of the biggest things I learned uh, when learning how to run, was being patient with all my moves. Um, Since we're going to be taking this siding... Yeah, so take a little four-pound set. 
and we're going to be patient with it. Yeah. Oh, and it would appear we're running into some alpha issues right now. Frames are getting a tad bit crunchy on my end. But you know what? It's alpha. That happens. This is what we're working on now. This is why we're playing the game testing. Yeah, even that feels a bit strong. Uh, probably a little bit stronger than what you needed, so kick it off. And take the throttle out to like 20% and leave it there. And make sure your reverser's all the way forward. It is. Cool. Now we're coming into the yard, so we want to work it in nice and easy. Uh, let's go long, short, short to let them know we're coming into the yard. And uh, we'll hit our bell. And I got a green target. And uh, Nick, I would like you to put the whistle post sign in your window. Whistle post sign in the window, okay. That's your goal. And let's see how he does. See how he brings that in for a nice gentle stop. See a little nibble. Good. I'll go sit behind so that we can see. Yep. And we've blown past it. Yeah, I didn't get. Yep. Clo close your throttle. Close your throttle. You'll slow yeah. down a lot. That time, that is the opposite of panic braking. That is lax braking. Uh, and you could turn off the bell. All right, far enough. So, why did I want Nick to stop? Hey, wait, hang on. Foaming? Foaming. Little mogul leaving. Bye, little mogul. I love you. I love those little things. That is cute. Oh, that's an adorable <laughs> mogul. Okay, so why the whistle post? Because we have to pick up those cars there. I wanted to leave enough space between the crossing and our cars that we're tying back onto. Um, now, did we stop in an okay spot? Yeah, because look where these cars are. They're lined up almost perfectly. We would have had four more cars worth of room if you'd stop at the whistle post, but we're making do. Um, all right, I'm gonna set a handbrake on this guy. And we're gonna bottle the air because it's 1950. And take note of how the slack is still stretched out. It did not bunch up coming in, which is good. We like that. That's our goal. All right. All right, Nick, you're cut away. Uh, why don't we run her up to the coal tower? And uh, let's get on this next cut of power. We'll get, uh, get on these next connies. Sounds good to me. All right, which one's... Well, that's not cut out. Gotta cut out that break stand. Using the magic of developer commands. Uh, it's the Bryson Yardmaster of the 1976. Uh, he's whistling right now. Roger. Go ahead, Bryson. Uh, if you want to just park that up there in the lead, uh, as soon as you guys get yourself situated, I'm gonna back that around the Y before I service it. So you can have to run it all the way to the cold tower. You can just park it right off the uh, right off the main there. Copy that parking right off the main. Oh cool, it looks like we're getting help from the uh, yard hostler getting our train back together. So Nick, now we got to do some double heading. Uh, Ready. You want to take, you want to take lead engine. You want me to take lead engine. Do you have a preference? You're the instructor. I trust your judgment. All right. How about I take lead engine for this, so that way we can talk about some things. And uh, I think I think that'll uh, work out nicely. Sure. I will. And then uh, you can 
you can follow behind. And then, uh, once we're done, uh, for the trip back, we'll let you take back over as, uh, the lead engine. Sounds or rather, once we switch back to the big Emma. Oh, look at the yard crew slamming everything. Typical yard crew. <laughs> Yardies. Treating it like they're not gonna have to worry about it when there's a pull apart. Uh, I know, seriously. Is Rudy still here? Hey, listen, is your train together in oh, one piece? Damn it. <laughs> well, no, it's actually in two. Well, and, uh, and we don't know that it's gonna hold in one piece. <laughs> there's, there's no warranty on this thing. Oh, uh, listen, I called the car inspector. He was at the lunch. That's the best I can do. Eh, fine. Uh, Dylan Call says Mogul. Uh, there's quite a few people who are part of Mogul Gang. Uh, and uh, I see the Blue Lion says when playing railroads online and normally have no throttle and then be on the brake and such. Yeah, that's how a lot of us do it. Uh, it's nice to get like really, really good train handling. Uh, and then there's also times when you just want to go and slam stuff around. As our yard crew is demonstrating. As our yard crew is demonstrating. Though you can be really gentle with an independent doing yard switching. Man, this is going to be a beautiful knuckle in here. Donk. Alright. Open up that angle cock. Open up that angle cock. Release that. And I'm gonna head up to the head engine. Alright, so I got 61, 68, you got 60, 24. Yep. Alright. Uh, this is Cole 1 2 Dispatcher. Wait, no, no, there's our dispatcher. This is the dispatcher. Go ahead, Cole One. Ah, uh, we got our. Oh, we forgot to do a thing, Nick. A very important thing. Uh, our air well, brake test. We forgot to do our air brake test. Yep. Uh, now, that brake test. <laughs> now the yard crew will have done our initial terminal for us as they were setting it up and tying on our power. So we have one thing we need to do. And this is rule. Again, if you're in the Discord. And I am going to pull up the rule right now. This is uh, 506. That's 506510. No, what is it? Uh, 507. Uh, the road train brake test. So, uh, brake pipe shall be charged to a minimum of 75 psi. Our brake pipe is 90. On proper signal, the brake shall be observed to apply on the last car of the train with a 20 PSI reduction on the brake pipe. So, take it down to 70. And... Brakes apply. Take them off there, uh, 61, 68. And brake release. Very nice. Uh, so why do we do that brake test? We will answer that uh, after we depart. Uh, Cole 1 to dispatch. This is dispatcher. Go ahead, Cole 1. Uh, yeah, we're looking for track out of Bryson to Dehart Mine. All right. Uh, what are your new engine numbers, car count, and tonnage? We are engine 61, 68, and 6024. We are 35 cars, 1,118 tons. 35 cars, 1,118 tons. Uh, yes, uh, Cole 1, you are clear to head westbound out of Bryson. Copy that, Cole 1, clear to head westbound out of Bryson. All 
Alright, so... Little throttle, little throttle, little throttle, little throttle, and leave the throttle out. Oh, we're back. How about that? Um, uh, uh, trying to remember the last thing I said before everything died. Um, I think we thanked, uh, Conrad Irwin for the sub and yep. was throwing out there that if, uh, everyone should join the Discord. Whoops, I gotta get a switch. Uh, everyone should join the Discord because we are a very fun group. Um, but also if you're a subscriber on the Discord, we're going to be... Uh, throwing out a fun new perk there. We're still working out the details, but we're trying to do a uh, RO, RO playthrough with the uh, subscribers on the channel as an extra thank you for them for supporting us. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, it has been quite the technical difficulty night here. Oh, look at that, a train. Hey! But that's where we're at. Dispatch to Coal One. You are clear all the way to uh, Heart Mine. Have a safe trip. Copy that. Cole one clear all the way to Dehurt Mine. We're going to have a safe trip. Alright, so I've got my throttle out and my reverser not quite hooked up. My job here is to pull the train. Nick's job back there is to just provide um, emotional support. No, um, <laughs> Nick, your you job... <laughs> uh, Nick's job back there is to help out as soon as I can't anymore. So... I'm gonna get my throttle. But you can. I can. You I can. I think I can. Ah, that's the best kind of. <laughs> so I've got I'll my throttle little, all the way out. We're coming I'll through. I'll give you a little bit more. All right. Uh, not not yet. I think. Give me a little bit, but not a lot. I'm gonna get my reverser okay. hooked up to the sweet spot. Nick's gonna give a little bit. We've got this 30 mile an hour bridge here. We gotta get across. And we're just gonna uh, slam it uphill. Be running up those rails. Oh god, not this again! Be running up the. Well, but this is new to our. our this audience. is this is new. You know what? This is this is not new to me. Not to you, but to our audience. To be, our audience, it up... is new. Yeah, continue. Yes. I will let you continue. While you're continuing, give it all you got, though. Yeah, uh, you got. It. Be, be running up the rails, be running up that hill, with no problems. <laughs> Alright, well hopefully once we get out of Bryson we'll get some frame rates back. It's... Hopefully the audio sounds good for you guys out there at home. But our goal here is to just maintain 30, 35 miles an hour up this hill. We've got a nasty 20 mile an hour restriction coming up. Uh, so that's in the forethought of my mind. But we're powering up this 2% grade. Uh, so we're going to let the grade do all the work for us. What's that? That's a 30. So I'm going to ease off a little bit. We come into that 30. And let my physical characteristics stop me from accelerating. I don't want to slow down, but I don't want to accelerate.
Now, this is where really knowing your physical characteristics when you're double-heading comes in handy. Because Nick needs to know what's, gonna, what's happening on the railroad as well as I do, so that way he can respond accordingly. Now we have this right-hand curve, we're going to have a tangent, and then we're going to have a 20 mile an hour restriction. So I'm going to close my throttle. And I would expect Nick back there is doing the same. Yes. Good. And I'm hoping to start seeing speed dropping. Close my throttle a little more. A lot more. A lot more. And we're into that 20. Speed's dropping a lot faster now. I'm gonna come back out on the throttle. So that way we. Up. Oh. Well. This is interesting. I've derailed. Oh dear. All right, so uh, we're gonna do a quick. But only you have, interestingly enough. Yeah, it's weird. We're gonna do a quick, yeah. Dev command, and check the health of the engine to make sure we didn't completely kill it. He's fine. Just a few scratches. Uh, quick dev command. Quick dev command. Well, now we have to start on the meatiest part of the grade, Nick. Yay! <laughs> but, but no, 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 I'd be emotional. So we got this. This will be... <laughs> I, I've faced a lot worse challenges in my life than this. This is something that we can overcome. We got this. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right, reverse her all the way in the corner. And before the brakes on the rear of my train release, I'm gonna take the throttle out and jerk Nick around a little bit. Uh, we keep pumping that throttle. We get movement. And you notice I'm not closing it all the way. And we're moving and it's all the way out. And I'm now coming in there with the support. And I'm going to hook that reverser up and leave it kind of long for power because I still want that power getting out of there. And, you know, we got that 20 mile an hour restriction, so closing it back down. And I'll take my support down to about 25. We'll just look at the tight curve. Our trains back there through the trees. And that's the end of the restriction. There's another restriction up there. That's a 30. So I'm not going to let us get above a 30. Get above 30 miles an hour. And look back. Let's see if I can see my caboose. I can see Nick in the other cab. That's cool. You know. All right, my caboose is just coming out of that curve. And we're coming up off the meatiest part of this grade here. Oh, God. Keep working that power. And we're going to be coming into Hemingway next. Hemingway is where we're going to start dropping down a little bit before going back up. You can feel as we're coming off that meaty part of the grade that we're really starting to accelerate. So I'm going to back my throttle down. Eh, I'm putting it like 50%. I don't know. Is that a good number? Can't tell. Only well, can tell when you tried it. Exactly. And you know, we're maintaining a nice 25, it's a 30 through here, so you know what, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna 
really push it. Got a station up ahead, so... Whistle that we're not going to be stopping. And a little more power. Even though we're coming downhill, I want to keep that just a teeny little bit of power on. I think we're coming back into the uphill again. And you can see that this curve's eating up our speed a little bit. And you can see the drop off here through Hemingway. So, we're gonna keep the power on. Uh, yeah, about this time, Nick would probably be shutting off. Or easing off almost all the way, but not completely off. You would be correct. And I'm just going to keep my power down as is. Yeah, look at that great dropping down there. And now the train's not quite pushing us all the way yet. Which is fine. That's, that's okay. That's not a problem. Uh, Skag McCastle. Uh, M Skag M Castle, all the all the chuff sounds are uh, synced uh, to the driver rotation. So what you're hearing is fairly accurate. And I'm gonna come all the way back out with my throttle as we start climbing back up this hill here. And I'd expect Nick to start coming on the power a little bit here, just to help keeping our speed. We've made it this far. We're going to go all the way. Well, you, you know, we, we still have a little bit of 2% left to go. Uh, and then we have the ever-so-fun. Uh, we're going to go downhill, go off, switch off the main, and up a hill into the coal mine which is kind of a little bit of a train handling nightmare. Because our train's going to be bunching and stretching and slowing and speeding up all at the same time. It's fun. Hopefully we get it right. But we have to do 15 miles an hour when we hit that switch, and that's going to be the fun spot. That's going to be the tough part. Uh, though, I don't know. We run on optimism here on the AM and W, don't we? Oh, I'm glad to see my last of his life is taken hold. That warms my heart. <laughs> and hopefully you guys are able to take something away from this. Uh, air brake and train handling is something I really wanted to cover. It's something I've seen people ask about a whole lot. I've seen it in RO of, you know, it's a video game. You can just slam it all the way forward, but some people like the immersion and like being able to do that, but don't really quite understand how it's all supposed to be working. All right, we're coming onto the downhill, so I'm going to ease off quite a bit, but leave my reverser where it is. Switch is lined, that's lined. I'm going to ease off more. I'm going to kick my reverser forward and set my throttle like 20% and leave it sitting there. And uh, I would imagine Nick would be doing the same back there, so he's not shoving us. Yep, uh, but right. people want that immersion, but aren't quite sure how to get it uh, in RO and don't really understand air brakes and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys are taking something away from this and really learning something. It's, it's one of our more uh, hardcore topics. And I'm going to take a little four pound set. I know I cheated, six pound set. I know I cheated, I used the UI. Um, but I was talking and got distracted. And I'm going to teleport ahead to the switch. Oh, someone got the switch for us. How nice. And I'm gonna let that slow down and kick it off. And now, by, by leaving the throttle out, leaving the, bringing the reverser near the corner, not all the way, 
and working a little bit of air, it was able to slow me down. I need to take another little nibble, take another little nibble, and just try to maintain the speed going up this branch and off this switch. What's going to help a lot is as soon as we get, see how the trains are already starting to come off the grade? That's going to help slow us down quite a bit. I'm going to kick that guy off, kick that guy off, and let this ride a little bit. Any way to get a map? A map. There is no map currently. Uh, best we can do is if you look at our employee timetable, you can see all of the stations, the sidings, there's some mileposts from the southern listed in there. And uh, you can use that for yourself and Google to kind of figure out where stuff is, but there is no publishable map right now. Things are still very much in flux and very much in alpha. Uh, so uh, things are always subject to change, so we just, we just don't have an accurate map right now. Alright, so I'm going to leave my reverser where it is and my throttle where it is. And uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go foam this coming up the hill. Plus, it sounds awesome. Holy crap, that's beautiful. <laughs> Especially with the sunset. Oh my god. More dramatic than that. Oh my god. Uh, I know we're getting close to the mine and I need to hop back up to the engine. Uh, oh, but god damn it, was that beautiful. Alright, steam engine. Running a train. And look at that, we're coming into the mine. So now, at this point, Nick should be shutting off. And uh, I'm going to take us the rest of the way in. And we're going to briefly depart from our lesson plan as we do some zigzagging maneuvers and a lot of switching to get everything made up here. So uh, we will be back with our lesson plan shortly, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun switching going on. Uh, Adam does want me to note that the coal mine is still very much a work in progress. The map is still very much alpha. Uh, this is not its final form, scenic wise or anything like that. Adam wanted me to let all of you know, so I'm passing that along. It is, a, it is a demonstration of concept, not final execution. Exactly. I'm going to walk this in. Uh, Nick, can you let me know when my caboose is clear of that, uh, the, uh, pocket track back there for the, uh, plant switcher? Can do. Seems like we'll have a little bit of time to do that, and then we'll have to call it a lesson. Oh, wow. Yeah. You've got four cars. Four cars. Three cars. Three cars. Two cars. Two cars. One car. Half. Truck. Keep it moving. Ooh, ah. Uh, look, look at another ten feet there. So very close. You would have, yes. And 10 feet. Okay, you're good. Anyway, that's good. Switch is thrown for the plant switcher. All right, copy that. Well, how about we get our train made back up and we'll review, shall we? Uh, all right, I am going to, all right, I've got a set on the train. Uh, would you like to bring the plant switcher ahead? And make the hitch. Sure. And I've got my air brakes cut out. Okay. So, train handling. What did we learn tonight? 
patience. Patience is absolutely key. It's a virtue. Um, it's what you need to uh, be successful. It, it's don't panic. Take that set. Let it let it cook. Let it marinate. Uh, trying to think of another food analogy to use with it: cooking, marinating, Bake. baking. Let it bake. Uh, I see that you've pinned on. Uh, so my my angle cock's closed. So you can take the air. All right, I'm taking it. All right, and I'm pulling my uh, cut lever. So I'm gonna cut away, and I'm gonna zigzag down into the yard. I'll let you know when I'm clear, and you can start shoving up. Uh, Conrad Irwin says boil. I've never heard boil to describe it before, but sure, let's go with boil. Um, so it, let it cook. Let it marinate, let it boil, let it bake. Um, but be patient with what you're doing. Not like me, where I just grabbed 56 pounds of independent. Uh, be gentle, small moves. Use small moves uh, with what you're doing. You will be more successful. So, take a little bite of independent there. And just let that little bit work down. Alright, next switch is lined. You are clear to start uh, shoving in. I say that I think that whoever selected the minaret as the uh, yard tower made the correct choice. I thought you'd like in that. Their decision. Uh, but you know. That was are. a correct choice. I I'm glad you liked it. I, I made that choice especially for you. I was also okay. I'm also a little nervous that the minaret doesn't have the didn't have the oomph to do it, but um Oh you doubted it. You doubt Judging it. by what I'm witnessing here. The minaret has the oomph to do the switching. Uh, but patience is the key. Small moves, take a little bit of air, let it cook. Use your reverser and your throttle to help you out. So, you're set up, you got a little set. Drop that bar down a little bit, so that way you're uh, not in the speed zone. Of where your reverser is you're starting to you you're starting to not you're not using that expansion to keep your speed up um, you're relying so drop that reverser down a little bit let your cutoff get a little bit longer that'll help slow that will help slow you down um, small moves a little bit of air um, you don't need a lot you and we learned this earlier with the uh, Nick right uh, l small moves um, mm-hmm so it's it's all about small moves. It's all about patience. Um, and uh, you know, if you're really into the absolute immersion, there's uh, what you saw us do with doing brake tests today. That's absolutely a thing you can be doing. Now we're splitting this train. Right? Yeah, we're gonna have to split this train. I'll, uh, I'll help split you. This will be good. We can talk about doing a little bit of a, as we're putting the train back together, we can talk a little bit about switching and air brakes to wrap things up. Alright, uh, handbrake. Handbrake. Alright, angle cocks closed, pins pulled, clear to cut away. Here we've got such a hill, I'm, I'm not even putting power onto it. Uh, yeah, that's that's the nice thing about being able to do a little bit of gravity switching is letting your physical, that's another thing we learned, let your physical characteristics work for you. Why give it any amount of steam? And that's far enough. 
when you can let the grade roll you down the hill. Alright. Once I you go up that way, I'm gonna... Says, it is a beautiful 2 a 2 2 <laughs> And that is a correct statement. <laughs> So while Nick's shoving up that way, I'm going to get these Connies out of the way. And they can gravity roll the caboose onto the cut. Exactly what I was thinking. And I've got all the switches lined for that to gravity drop. Okay. First, I'm going to get myself to the way. Yep, I'm going to... Wait, do you have it? Do you have a line for the gravity drop? But what okay. about me? Oh yeah, no, I gotta. All right. Uh, we'll line you down back to the, uh, not the tipple side. And then once you're there, we'll uh, we'll release the caboose and let it roll. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. You can cut yourself away. I'm creeping through now. Actually, that was a nice shot of the Connie's there. Can I get? Here we go. Oh cool, you're up there. You got the gravity drop? Yep, I'm ready for that. Alright, cool, I'll get your switch as soon as it's clear and then go catch the uh the connies that are rolling down the hill. Okay. Well, Nick, I gotta say, I will have you as a student engineer anytime. You did an excellent job. Well, I appreciate that. Caboose is incoming. Okay. Uh, uh, your your minaret is uh, approaching my connies faster than my connies are going? Yep. Duly noted. We're good. Cool. Are you riding that caboose down? No, I'm riding the minaret. Okay. Um... I could switch. Um, maybe we can do both. Doing multiple switching moves here. Uh, I'll I'll leave the minaret where it's at. I'll, oh yeah, because we're gonna move. next crew will need that. The next crew who comes up to work this yard will need that. Anyway, to do the uh the switching moves. Right. All right, so that's coming. Yeah. Take a nice little pop of there, there, air, there. Uh, Bmax bragging about his frame rate on his supercomputer. Bmax, not fair. You have a supercomputer. I know what graphics card you have. It's not fair. To be fair, streaming also doesn't help the frame rate sometime when you don't have a super build. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running a laptop too, and I'm streaming, and I'm getting uh, 20s, 30s. When I'm not streaming, I'm seeing closer to 50s, so, you know. It's the whole streaming thing that's the problem sometimes. Yeah, hopefully a new computer soon. Alright. Uh, Nick, would you like to take back over uh, 6168? Once that sure. caboose is uh... tied on, yeah, I'm just getting the airlines hooked up, set cool. up for it. Yeah, uh, and then I'll back the 134 down into the pocket. Uh, and I'll leave it where it is, because next ah, okay. group who comes up here is going to need to use that for switching. So we'll we'll make life we'll easy on them. All right, how's this okay. out? Ugh. Oh, well, we're tied onto the wrong cut. I should have looked at our waybills first. Okay, well, I'm in the 6024. Alright, uh, you wanna hop up to the 6168 so you have air? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, I'm all set. All right, you are uh, cut away. You can roll her back. We gotta grab the cut in the middle because there's cars for homage in there, and we should put those at the front. So that way it's less switching for the bracing crew to do. Yay, thinking of our compatriots. I'm also thinking of us because we're gonna have to do the switching. Oh. Yay, thinking of ourselves. Alright. You got an engine link to go. Eh, keep rolling. All right, far enough. Bring her ahead. And uh, I want you to use independent brake. Little moves with feather the independent. For your little set as you're coming in for the hook. Little set, release, little set, release, little set, and feather it. To be able to get a nice hook. So keep a small amount of power applied, but feather the independent. Um, no, once you get, like, a car out, shut your, uh, throttle. So you got two cars. One car. Uh, half a car. Feather that independent. Feather it. Truck. Three, two, one. Beautiful. How did that feel? That felt right. Small moves. That is absolutely the key. Small moves. Alright. And release. Alright. Uh, take a release and we'll uh, roll back uh, to clear switch one. I guess this is switch two. We'll roll back to clear switch two. Should probably put a headlight on here with this engine. Which I'll keep myself in and do. We're yard switching on a grade with air. The question is, should we be using air for the switch? Should we be using train air for the switching? Obviously, we have engine air. Yes. Not necessarily. Isn't that a lot of force to put on the independent? Your independent's a much stronger brake. So just take a take a little bit of independent. A little bit, like you're like you're using the automatic. A little bit of air. Four cars. Three cars. Two cars. One cars. Half a cars. Truck. And far enough. Did you use your independent the yep. whole time? How did that feel? A little weird, right? A little bit easier than using train air. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. You're, uh, line clear to shove ahead. Uh, we'll call it four cars. And you know what? We'll make it three cars. Um, so it's, it's that gentle, gentle moves to get all that stuff. And I'm noticing the time as we're talking about this, so as we're making up these last one cars. Half a car. Truck. Five. Two. Crash. Uh, it is sadly time for us to say goodnight. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed air brake and train handling. Check out our Discord. We'll probably be talking about this after the stream in there. Um, plus, I know people have been asking about it for a while, and did not cover nearly everything. Maybe we'll have a Q&A at some point in the Discord uh, on uh, in one of the voice channels to talk more about it. I don't know. I know it's a popular topic and I like demystifying it, uh, but from all of us here at the Virtual Railroader Academy, I'm Professor Casey. And I'm Professor Nick, and don't forget to subscribe to us on Twitch. Subscribe, follow, all those good things, join the Discord. Uh, exclamation mark discord hopefully rudy gets that before the very end so that way people can hit it later it will also be in the description below when this is up on the uh, other site and uh it will be in the description below on twitch have a good night everyone and thanks for sticking with us through all the technical difficulties good night good night oh
So many technical difficulties. Yeah. I have so many questions.